WeFi is a global program that focuses on supporting women entrepreneurs in emerging markets. Mm -hmm. And we have a broad array of governments that have provided funding for the program, 14, one of which, one of the founding members was uh, the United Arab Emirates. And we work through six multilateral development banks uh, to run programs that support women entrepreneurs in, in these countries. We now have uh, about $250 million that we've allocated to programs around the world, um, including the MENA region. Um, they both include uh, access to finance programs, access to markets. We also do a lot of work on the enabling environment and the legal and policy side of things. We try to take an ecosystem approach to address the challenges that women face when they want to become entrepreneurs. We have 29 projects that are uh, have begun implementation. Most of those are at the stage of working with partners. We work through local partners. That means we work with banks uh, and other financial institutions like fintechs and others. We work with corporates to try to get them to procure more. Um, we work with um, regulators to try to get them to change laws. So most of the programs right now are in the process of getting those institutions to design their new products, design their new services to support women. And a number of the programs are starting to train the women that are, uh, that are the beneficiaries of those programs. We're so excited to be here and very grateful for the government of the Arab Emirates and uh, the government of Dubai to be supporting the program here. We've tried to make the agenda for the WeFi Summit really be focused on spurring action, inspiring and engaging participants for the MENA region to try to drive more change in this area for the MENA region. We will also have a series of other workshops which are really designed to drive change and to drive momentum going forward. Mm -hmm. There will be workshops on women entrepreneurs in fragile states, which will be led by the Islamic Development Bank, mm -hmm. workshops on e-commerce mm -hmm. and how women can get access to e-commerce. Uh, workshops on value chains mm -hmm. because we know that only 1% of corporate value, global value chains uh, are uh, women-led companies that mm -hmm. are participating in this. Um, we're talking about banking and how do you get banks to accelerate financing for women. So we're covering a broad range of topics uh, and the objective of the workshops is all to spur action. We're actually launching today with IFC a new program called ScaleX which is meant to expand the number of women who get funding at the conclusion of these accelerator programs. So it's, it's an incentive program that should work with a broad array of accelerators to help them focus more on getting women to the end goal, which is getting them financing. We only work in developing countries, so we're not doing projects, for example, in the United Arab Emirates. Yeah. They're a donor country yeah. for us, and yeah. we've been very grateful for that. In the first round of allocations, the first and second round of allocations, we had a few projects that were done in the MENA, and there's obviously many projects happening in Africa, Latin America, Asia, other places. Uh, the Islamic Development Bank has kicked off their program with this initiative in Yemen, which is quite a interesting program to support women in that conflict affected states. So we are, you know, really glad to see the work that they're doing directly with women that will also get financing to those women after they've gone through a series of trainings. So um, they'll be speaking here during the fragile states of uh, breakout that we're having. We also have an e-commerce program and they also have an announcement today. They're going to be partnering with UPS to develop training programs for women to help them get access to markets through e-commerce. So that is a training program that works across across the whole region mm -hmm. to bring women up to uh, the level of uh, being able to access more e-commerce. Mm -hmm. And in addition, as part of that program, we've also been doing a, a lot of work and analytics around the regulatory environment and mm -hmm. how to make sure women are on a level playing field. Exactly. Uh, as you know, this is a big challenge. The yes. MENA region has yeah. uh, a lot of challenges, but there's been a, a great amount of momentum yes. recently in terms of legal changes, yes. um, both in the UAE. Saudi, Saudi Arabia yeah. has had amazing changes this year and then um, many other parts of the region um, are doing well. So that program, that's the World Bank program mm -hmm. uh, and ha where the UPS announcement is happening today will be uh, also covering the regulatory side. This year as we um, request new calls for proposal from our implementing partners, the, the multilateral development banks that we look at, we have identified three things that we really want to focus on. Um, one is early stage financial 
financing. Um, so this whole ecosystem of accelerators, incubators, venture capital funds, how do we get more women through the pipeline and successfully receiving financing? Uh, we're looking at global value chains and international value chains. So that's that might be fast moving consumer goods or it might be agricultural value chains, but trying to identify ways to get more women into value chains. As I mentioned, only 1% of the suppliers into global value chains are women led businesses. So we really want to improve that. And then we're also looking at technology and fintech. So how do we get digital technologies to benefit more women entrepreneurs? So that's a big focus for us this year. I think it just shows that right now, this is a really important topic and people understand the importance of empowering women. And uh, we see it in uh, I, the WeFi program is housed at the World Bank. It's such a high priority for the World Bank. But all of the implementing partners that we work with have really put it at the top of their priority list. I think in this region, even more so, the opportunity for uh, spurring economic growth uh, from having more women engaged and participating in the workforce and, and empowered through entrepreneurship is going to be critical for the next few years uh, for growth and for uh, creating you know, better societies. So exactly. we're really excited to see what's happening here. Absolutely.